following video is going to show you how to use input and dynamic text in uh, Flash CS6 using ActionScript 3.0. Alright, so the following video that I made is simple, this following movie. Basically, you enter your name in a box, I enter my name, and I press the Press Me button, and it gives me a message. Welcome to our class, Ray Pastor. Um, now, I'm not showing you all the ways you can use this, but this is the kind of thing you can do with input and dynamic text. Just one of the things you can do with them. Um, all right, so how did I create that? Basically, I have one. You can see that I have simply one row here, or I should say one column, one for my actions, one for my text boxes, off my other text, and one for my button. Very simply, I created an input text box. I created a dynamic. So the input text box is where you enter your name. The dynamic box is the one that's going to display it. And then on the button click is when all the magic happens. All right. So basically, my input text box, I've given the instance name box1. My dynamic text box, I've called box2. And my button, I call my button. Now, everything happens in the action. So let's go through the action, and you can take a look. And I'll zoom in on this so you can see, but it's a very simple action to get this to work. All right, so the first thing I do, obviously, is stop my movie so that it doesn't keep looping through. All right, then I create my action. So it's my function, which I just, just called handle click. This can be any term here, any variable you'd like to name, on a mouse event. Okay, so I declare a variable, my first variable. Basically, what I'm doing is I'm making up a variable. There is no existence. So my variable is going to equal box1.text. So whatever someone enters in this input text box where they can enter their name, it's going to, so, and that's called box1.text, it's going to be equal my first variable. So then all I do is I say box2.text, which is my dynamic text box. I say welcome to our class. And you can see that that's in quotations and it's green, which signifies that it's just text it's automatically going to be displayed there. Welcome to our class, and I say plus my first variable. So whatever was entered in the box one. So box two should equal welcome to our class plus my first variable, which is your name. Then I just do a simple call my button, which is it's my button, and call the action. So let's take a look at that again. Enter in your name in the input. So right now, box1.text equals my first variable as soon as I press this. And it's going to be displayed down here. And there we go. That's it. That's how you use input and dynamic text.